There's a question from Ifat Ara on the YouTube. I'm a Muslim, but I'm in a relationship with a Hindu boy. He is not ready to accept Islam, but he confirmed me that I can stay with Islam. The question posed by a Muslim girl that she is in a relationship with a Hindu boy. He is not ready to accept Islam, but he doesn't mind her remaining a Muslim. So the question is, is it permitted or not? Allah clearly mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 221, that do not marry a mushrika until she believes. A Muslim woman, even if she is a bond woman, she is better than mushrika even if she allows you. And the verse continues. Do not marry a mushrik boy until he believes. A Muslim boy, even if he is a bondsman, even if he is a slave man, is much better than a mushrik boy even if he allows you. That means even if you have the most handsome man in the world, maybe Richard Gere or, or maybe Shah Rukh Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, supposedly Muslim, or Richard Gere, maybe handsome like you know Richard Gere or maybe what of one of the Bollywoods or the or the Hollywood, Akshay Kumar, etc. But if you have a slave boy or a slave man who is a Muslim, the Quran says he's much better than a mushrik even if he allows you. He may be handsome, he may be the richest man, but a Muslim is far superior. So telling the woman that you cannot marry a mushrik boy until he believes. And telling to the male, do not marry a mushrika, an idolatress, until she believes. So for you, to marry a Hindu boy is totally haram. The marriage is not valid and it is not permitted at all. Even if he allows you to be a Muslim, you know very well that a person who is a Muslim will go to hell. So how can you marry a man who is going to go to hell? And what will happen to the children? So there is no question at all. There is no iota of doubt that you cannot marry a non-Muslim at all until that non-Muslim agrees to accept Islam and practice Islam. Just for namesake also it's not correct. If you do plastic surgery, just, just say the shahada so that he accepts Islam and you marry and then your children will start going, you know, to, to the church or temple. So sister, I would say this is an infatuation. See to it that you ask Allah for forgiveness. If you're in a relationship with this man, whatever it is, in-depth or superficial, my request to you, my advice to you is, see to it that you stop this relationship immediately. Not from tomorrow, from today itself. Ask Allah for forgiveness and repent to Allah. You stop it, don't do it again. And see to it that you search for a good, pious Muslim boy. You stop the relationship at all. You search for a good Muslim, pious person. And the Prophet said that when you marry, you look for four things. One is beauty. The second is nobility. Third is wealth. The fourth is virtuous, deen. And the most important is virtuous, is deen, is the religion. So see to it that you search for a good life partner. Tell your parents, tell your, tell your parents, your father, your brother. And inshallah, they search for you for a good man. Get married as soon as possible. That's the best for you. Hope that answers the question.